Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe. In today's video, I will be sharing how I transform my face and cover up my acne and dark spots to achieve a more flawless look. All the products I use will be listed in the description box and you can use alternatives wherever you want. The first step is to prep your skin. I start off by cleansing my skin and then moisturizing. I have really dark lips as well so I also like to prep and plump my lips. The next step is to apply your primer to your oil spots before moving on to your brows. After filling in my brows, it's time to conceal. You will need two flat brushes and different concealers for this. The first concealer I use is a cream concealer that's closer to my skin tone. I apply it to the bottom inner corner of my brows and to also clean up the top of my brows. If you notice, I only focus on the inner corner as when it's time to conceal the arch, I switch to a lighter concealer. After I conceal the arch, then I blend everything together using a dense blending brush before setting it with some baking powder. After my brows, I start to conceal my face. I use a lighter concealer on my highlight spots, so that's under my eyes, my forehead, chin, cheekbones, and the bridge of my nose. Then I blend it all in before I move in to cover my dark spots. To cover my dark spots, I start off with a reddish concealer. I must admit that the danger with using a reddish concealer is that it oxidizes and darkens over time. So I like to use it almost as a contour base as well. This initial highlight and contour serves as the base of my face. Then I move on to cover up with the foundation. This Huda Beauty Full Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation is literally the holy grail if you have acne. Trust me, two pumps goes a very long way. If I was even going for a more natural look, I would not have bothered with the initial contour and highlight because this coverage is really true to what it says. It will cover your dark spots and leave you looking flawless. So after blending in my foundation, it leaves me with a blank slate, but then I need to add more color to my face so I go back again to highlight and contour.
I wanted to focus on my skin in this video so I did my eyes off camera while my highlight zones were baking but when I'm done with my eyes and I come back brush off the setting powder and move on to my contour zones my favorite thing to use to contour is the Fenty Beauty matchsticks because it can literally just apply straight to your face and you can do thinner lines or thicker lines with it. After I apply it, then I blend it with the same beauty blender I used to apply my foundation so that it has a more natural look to it after you blend it in. After blending it out, then I set my whole face using my MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. As I said before, you can use any powder of your choice, or any product of your choice in fact. After setting my face, I go back in to touch up any parts of my brows that may have faded, and then I complete my eye makeup look. I don't like to do the bottom eye makeup before I have set my face so I can avoid getting concealer or powder on my lower lashes. When I'm done adding the finishing touches to my eye makeup, then I go back to add some shine to my face. I use my fingers to add shimmer highlight to the tip of my nose, the top of my lips, the arc of my brows and then I use a brush to blend it all in and to also add some highlight to my cheeks. After this I add some colour with blush and then my transformation is complete. As I said before, all the products I use will be in the description box, but feel free to use any alternatives. And I also hope you like the finished look. Please let me know your thoughts and let me know if you also try it out. Thank you so much for watching.